The soul is placed in the body like a rough diamond, and must be polished, or the luster of it will never appear. Thus fear of danger is ten thousand times more terrifying than danger itself. Thus we never see the true state of our condition till it is illustrated to us by its contraries, nor know how to value what we enjoy, but by the want of it. I hear much of people's calling out to punish the guilty but very few are concerned to clear the innocent. Today we love what tomorrow we hate, today we seek what tomorrow we shun, today we desire what tomorrow we fear, nay, even tremble at the apprehensions of. He that hath truth on his side is a fool as well as a coward if he is afraid to own it because foe other men's opinions. Thus fear of danger is ten thousand times more terrifying than danger itself when apparent to the eyes, and we find the burden of anxiety greater, by much, than the evil which we are anxious about. All our discontents about what we want appear to me to spring from the want of thankfulness for what we have. All evils are to be considered with the good that is in them, and with what worse attends them. And I add this part here, to hint to whoever shall read it that whenever they come to a true sense of things, they will find deliverance from sin a much greater blessing than deliverance from affliction. It is better to have a lion at the head of an army of sheep than a sheep at the head of an army of lions. And now I saw, though too late, the folly of beginning a work before we count the cost, and before we judge rightly of our own strength to go through with it. This grieved me heartily, and now I saw, though too late, the folly of beginning a work before we count the cost, and before we judge rightly of our own strength to go through with it. The best of men cannot defend their fate, the good die early, the bad die late. Wait on the Lord, and be of good cheer, and he shall strengthen thy heart, wait, I say, on the Lord. Nature has left this tincture in the blood, that all men would be tyrants if they could. And of all the plagues with which mankind are cursed, ecclesiastic tyranny is the worst. 